They found cancer, but it didn't show on a CT scan. Sometimes we're told everything looks normal, only to find out later that it wasn't. This is the reality for many people whose cancers were missed on standard imaging tests like CT scans, only to be discovered later on a PET scan. Let's start with one real story that could happen to anyone. A breast cancer survivor had been in remission for years, but she started experiencing persistent bone pain. She was concerned, so her doctor ordered both a CT scan and a bone scan. The results came back clear, no signs of anything suspicious, but the pain didn't go away. So her oncologist decided to take a different approach and ordered a PET CT scan, just to be thorough. That decision changed everything. The PET scan showed areas of increased metabolic activity in her spine, something that hadn't shown up on the CT or bone scan. A biopsy confirmed that her breast cancer had returned, and thanks to the PET scan, it was caught early enough for immediate treatment. This case was documented in the Journal of Clinical Imaging Science, and is a powerful example of why PET scans are sometimes a critical part of cancer diagnosis and surveillance. So how does a PET scan work? And why does it catch cancer when other scans don't? To understand this, we have to look at the difference between structural imaging and functional imaging. CT scans and MRIs show the shape, size, and density of structures inside the body. They're fantastic at spotting physical abnormalities, but they can't always see how tissues are behaving. PET scans, short for positron emission tomography, do something very different. They show the metabolic activity of tissues, meaning how active cells are at using energy. And since cancer cells tend to be energy hungry, they often light up on a PET scan long before they grow big enough to change the shape or appearance of an organ on a CT scan. Here's how it works. Before the scan, a small amount of a radioactive sugar tracer called FDG is injected into the patient's bloodstream. Cancer cells consume this sugar more rapidly than healthy cells, causing the tracer to accumulate in suspicious areas. The PET scanner then detects these hot spots of activity and turns them into images, revealing what's going on inside the body at the cellular level. Let's look at a few more real-life cases where PET scans made all the difference. Lung cancer missed on CT found on PET. A 63-year-old man, longtime smoker, began losing weight and feeling constantly exhausted. His doctor ordered a CT scan of his chest. The results? Normal. No sign of cancer, but something still didn't feel right. So the doctor ordered a PET scan. This time, the scan revealed something the CT didn't, a suspicious area in the upper lobe of his lung, glowing with high metabolic activity. A biopsy later confirmed it, early stage non-small cell lung cancer. Because it was caught early, treatment could start right away, and he responded well. This case shows one of the biggest strengths of a PET scan. It can detect cancer based on cell activity, even before a tumor grows large enough to appear on a CT image. Next, breast cancer that came back, but only the PET scan saw it. A woman who had battled breast cancer and was in remission started experiencing persistent bone pain. Her doctor ran a CT scan and a bone scan. Both came back normal, no signs of cancer. Still, the pain continued. Her oncologist trusted her instincts and ordered a PET CT scan. That's when it became clear. The scan lit up areas in her spine, revealing metabolic activity that hadn't been visible on the other tests. A biopsy confirmed what the PET scan had already suggested. The cancer had returned. Thanks to the PET scan, treatment began before the cancer had time to spread further. This case is a powerful reminder that cancer can come back quietly and PET scans can catch it early, even when everything else looks normal. Lymphoma in remission, until the PET scan said otherwise. A patient in remission from Hodgkin's lymphoma went in for a routine follow-up. The CT scan showed nothing out of the ordinary, no visible signs of disease, but something didn't sit right with the care team. They ordered a PET scan to double check. That decision made all the difference. The PET scan picked up metabolic activity in several lymph nodes, even though they hadn't changed in size. A closer look confirmed an early relapse of lymphoma. Because the PET scan caught it early, the patient was able to restart treatment right away and quickly return to remission. This case highlights a key advantage of PET imaging. For cancers like lymphoma that are highly active metabolically, it can detect a problem long before there are any visible changes in the body. 
These aren't just isolated stories, they reflect a larger truth in modern medicine. Not all cancers are obvious on a CT scan. PET scans help with early detection before structural changes occur, treatment monitoring by measuring metabolic changes in tumors, recurrence detection, finding cancer again before symptoms appear, better treatment planning, especially when combined with CT or MRI. Doctors often pair PET with CT called a PET CT scan, which overlays the anatomical structure from the CT with the metabolic glow from the PET. This fusion gives a clearer, more complete picture of what's happening in the body. But are there limitations? Yes, no scan is perfect. PET scans can sometimes show false positives. Areas of inflammation, infection, or healing tissue may also absorb the tracer and light up on the scan. That's why PET results must always be interpreted alongside patient history, symptoms, and other tests. Also, there's the issue of radiation exposure though it's relatively small. Doctors are cautious about using PET scans in pregnant women or children unless absolutely necessary. And finally, PET scans aren't cheap. In some places, they're only used after other scans show abnormalities. In others, they're part of the standard workup for cancers like lymphoma or lung cancer. So what does all this mean for you or someone you care about? If you're facing a cancer diagnosis, going through follow-up scans, or even just sitting with that feeling that something still isn't right, don't ignore it. Even when a CT scan comes back clear, that doesn't always mean the story is over. A second look, especially through a PET scan, might uncover something that could change the course of treatment, or even save a life. It's not about doubting your doctors or panicking over every symptom. It's about being your own advocate, asking informed questions, and making sure every possibility is explored especially when your gut tells you something isn't quite right. Cancer is sneaky. It doesn't always announce itself loudly, but technology like PET scans allows us to see its whispers, those early hidden signs that structural scans might miss. And when we catch it early, we often have more options, better outcomes, and a fighting chance. So if you're in that space of uncertainty, bring it up. Ask your doctor if a PET scan might be right for your situation, because sometimes, that one extra step can be the one that makes all the difference. If this video helped you understand the hidden power of PET scans and how they're changing the game in early cancer detection, go ahead and tap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more clear, compassionate insights on health and healing. And if someone you know is going through a cancer journey, consider sharing this with them. You never know whose life it might impact. Have you had a PET scan before? Did it change your diagnosis or treatment? We'd love to hear your story in the comments. Your experience could help someone else feel less alone. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can send us super thanks or check out our merch. Everything helps us keep producing thoughtful, research-based content for people just like you. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay proactive, and most of all, stay well.